Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Mental Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about self-control. So the other day I was listening to one of the trainings that we have in my book, Seven Days with Jesus. And the story is on how when the Wright brothers were figuring out how to invent airplanes, how to make airplanes fly, it was actually the hard, one of the hardest problems they had was how to control the airplane. How to give the pilot the control of the airplane so that he could navigate and turn and truly be in control of the airplane. It was the hardest problem they had to, had to solve. This is according to, we went on a trip one time to, to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. We're at the Wright Brothers Museum. Control was the hardest problem they had to solve. And at the time when I was learning these things, I felt like the Lord was telling me. It was the hardest problem he had with us as well was giving us control, allowing us to be the ones who navigate. And it just reminded me of Acts chapter 24, verses 24 through 25. The Apostle Paul's been in prison for a while. And King Felix, I'm not sure if he's the king, but Felix, the, the ruler, and his wife, Drusilla, come in. And she was Jewish. And he sent for Paul, and he listened to him. And Paul, says, spoke about faith in Christ Jesus. And he talked about righteousness self-control, and the judgment to come. Now, out of all the things that he could talk about with this ruler, one of the things he talked about was self-control. And I think it's such a critical piece of our walk with God. God gave us control. We get to choose which way we want to go. We get to choose whether we'll follow his plan, whether we'll be obedient to him, whether we'll exercise exercise the self-control that he's given us in the spirit. And so we're going to take communion over this day, just asking God to give us a revelation of the control that he's given us for navigating our life, choosing which direction we'll go, we're going to go, for the power of the self-control that he gave us on the inside. But let's get started with the daily prayer. And then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us. And the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us. And the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy. And confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal. And do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So Father, we're asking for you to teach us today. Give us a true revelation of the self-control that we have in Christ. How you've given us control to navigate our lives. We could choose to, to yield that back to you, to follow your leading, or we could choose to do things our own way. 
how you've given us self-control to stay disciplined and consistent in our lives. And we thank you the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. We get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus and all that he went through. And so I, thought, I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. So I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, let's talk about some practical application into our health and fitness. So one of the qualities of fitness is being able to control our body. One of the ways you can practice this is by slowing things down especially on the, the lowering portion of an exercise, stay in totally under control as a reminder that God's given us control. But I hope this is enough for today. If you'd like to learn more about partnering with us, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.